Hey guys, Jason here, and we are playing No Man's Sky, the base building missions, and I finally got back to my uh, my home base. I should have been using uh, teleporters, but you know, I liked wasting hyperdrive fuel. But finally got back with all the stuff I need for solar vines and anything else, I'm pretty sure. So, actually before we go, I think I have it all shoved in here. I don't know why I got into my, my spaceship. You don't need to be inside of it to do any of this stuff. But, you know, I'm dumb. So let's move that over here. So we'll have 70 left. Let's do this, too, just in case. And I'm going to need frost crystals, I imagine. I might make some more of that. What else do I have? My gamma root. Okay, yeah. Definitely going to take some of those. And cactus flesh. Oh crap, actually, I just remembered I was going to make a, um, I have to make the circuit board. So, I need a heat capacitor. Done. Okay, we got that. Woo! Woo, I almost, I almost screwed up, you guys. I almost screwed it all up. So let's make a heat capacitor. And now I need to make a circuit board. There we are, right there. Boom. Circuit board. Now I've made a circuit board, yeah! So now that I have all that, let's actually go plant some, uh, I need to grow a solar vine, so let's go plant that real fast so I can complete the farmer mission as well. And look at my plants are all growing. I don't know the exact time, if you guys know the time frame for every plant, because I know every plant has a different length of time it takes to grow. I'm pretty sure for Frostward it takes about a half an hour, like a real life time. And so you have to wait a half, every half hour you'll get a new plant, or the plant will regrow. But... Yep, yeah, where's my technology? God, I was, I was, I'm thrown off to you guys. And let's plant some a couple of solar vines. So, boom. And boom. Yep, I... Oh, good! I have 20 left. Let's grab some copyright. Or some cooperite. <laughs> and some frost work. That way they're all growing at the same time. And there's no reason not to grab all that stuff. So let's go talk to the farmer now. I think, whoop, wait. I'm gonna need 50 from the, uh, for the solar vine to get my next recipe. So let's make sure I have, I don't know why I keep getting inside. It's like a habit, you guys. So let's pop this. Oh, I only have 20, are you kidding me? I only have 20. I could have sworn I had more than that. Dang it! Oh, they're killing me. Return to the farmer. Your farmer awaits at their terminal. I'm going to have to wait for that solar vine to grow. You have successfully cultivated solar vine. Yes, I need 50 of them. Selenium. Or solenium? Solanium? <laughs> I don't have 50. I only have 20. Man! That's alright. I need a circuit board, right? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait. I have a cop right in here. Oh. Let's make some room and stuff. I'm going to be talking to my scientist anyway. So let's drop some stuff off. Okay, guys. So we have a circuit board, and I have room in my... Uh in my uh, space for, or my suit for that, I, I transferred everything over, organized it a little bit. So let's go. Let's talk to the base guy, overseer. I trust our scientist was able to meet your needs, friend. They have the circuits we demand. Yes. As I approached the overseer, I was almost certain I heard them talking to themselves, spitting out words and phrases in a tongue I recognize but do not understand. But seconds later, there is no trace of the venom I thought I heard. I must be mistaken. Merchant a a disc allows me for the circuit boards. Yes. The overseer is strange, but no more so than any of the other beings I have encountered. Indeed, there have been more helpful. They have been more helpful than most. I hand over the circuits and receive my reward. Oh, galactic trade terminal! There you go. Ah, friend, you will be so happy with the merchant a disc. I have drawn up plans for some starship technology, but I cannot yet sync my design with your ship. I shall need a gravitino ball to perfect my device. 
The overseer predicted I would be pleased, and once again they are correct. They have been ceaseless in their efforts to improve my lot. A gravitino ball is required to finish their promised starship technology. The farmer may be able to help to acquire one. Alright, so I need a gravitino ball. Now, the only way to get a gravitino ball that's not farming is to go to a high security planet. Or to find a, um, oh, ancient alien monument. I believe they have them as well. What is that? Crashed freighter. Yeah, and I don't think this is high security. Yeah, this is a regular sentinel. Oh, crap. I gotta remember, where is it? Or I can grow it. Oh, man. I'm gonna need to wait for this to actually sputter. Either way, I'm gonna have to leave anyway. Dang it. All right. Oh, I mean, I have room. Ah, oh, screw it. Let's go. Let's go look for a high-security sentinel planet. Yeah. I wish I had my farmer, you know, um, ready to go, but, you know, I didn't save enough selenium. High-security planet. I don't think that they are... around? Let's... Oh, we're gonna go pick at random, you guys. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go to a, uh, a galaxy I've never been in. That way, at least I can get another suit slot. So, let's go. Let's hit this one. Yeah! We made it to the system. So, first things first, we're gonna go buy another slot. Let's check the multi-tool. Oh, it's a big multi-tool. Let's see. It's an A with 24 slots in it. I might have to get it. Because I have 23. I'm just missing the one. Oh, guys. I might... Oh, I don't know. Because I have all my... My... Oh, my visor upgrades. I have all of it ready to go. Oof. Dang it! I might I might stick around for that. Is this a really good system? It's a comfortable system, so it probably has a lot of good stuff. All right, so let's go. I've already been here. What the hell? No! I thought I haven't been here. I wasn't paying attention to my galaxy map. Damn it! I thought oh oh I screwed that up. A C a C. A C, a C. Dang it! Well, that was just a waste of time. I should have just looked for the planets. Damn it, you guys. Oh, I'm sorry. Wasted time. Well, let's go scan these planets and see if they're high security or not. Unknown planet. It's a foaming planet. Hopefully, you're high security. Let's see. Oh, it's a bubble planet. I love it. Okay. Let's get down and see. Oh, look at that, you guys. That's pretty awesome. High security, please. Invisible mist, standard. Ow, oh, standard. So we're not going to have anything here. Wow, there's a lot of bubbles here, though, you guys. We're going to take a picture of me with some bubbles. Look at that. All right. Oh, what is that? Are those the animals? They look like balloons! Okay, look at that! They're like bleeding balloons. Oh god, okay, we need to get a picture of those. This is a bleeding balloon. Wow! That is creepy, you guys. Look at it! It's just bleeding! Everywhere! What in the hell? Well, I got my uh, my milestone. <laughs> wow! 
That is creepy. I've never seen the bleeding balloon animals before. Whoa. Well, it's not high security, so there's no Gravitino balls here. So let's check out the next planet. Please be high security. Oh, it's a moon. Uh, Sub-Zero, please, come on. Okay, so let's plant it right here. I know I've run into a couple of uh, high security planets, dang it. I just don't know where it is. Standard Sentinel, of course, when I'm looking for the high you know, security system or high security planet. Wow. Maybe little dinosaurs over here. Wow, okay, they do look like a dinosaur. Hopefully it's not mean. All right, not here. Okay, so let's check. So we have that. Oh, there's one more behind it. And then there is the planet that I just came from. So there's a planet behind this one, so let's go. I think that's it, right over there with the rings. Yes, sir. Oh. Unknown planet, let's see what it is. The fungal planet, great. And then, oh, the moon. It is a barren moon. Let's go to the barren, oh God, oh God. Let's go to the barren moon first, you guys. Just check it out. I gotta get out of my first person because it throws me off. Oh, come on. Please be high security on this moon. It's a barren moon, so... No life. Just high security, please. How is it barren if there's life here? What? Sentinels are aggressive. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, now we have to look for... Gravitino balls. Look at right where I landed. Awesome. Now, every time you pick one up, it pisses off the sentinels. They're going to come looking for you. So, boom, boom, boom. All right. Good. Done. Get out of here. Oh, God. And I believe that aggressive uh, sentinel planets, they will chase you to the end of the earth. So you really got to go. Now, don't leave, the, uh, don't leave the atmosphere because then you'll just get a sentinel ship to come in and kick your butt. So, instead, just kind of move it along. Oh, look, there's cactus down there. Or a fungus. Yeah, I think it's cactus, actually. Because it's a desert planet. Or barren planet. I always thought that barren planets meant that there is nothing. Maybe that's just lifeless planets. I don't know. I get confused on these categories of the different planets, you guys. There's so many of them. Oh, look, a crashed freighter. And look, there's a building. Oh, it's a trade post. Let's get in here, because I need some stuff anyway. I need a sodium diode. So let's see if they got anything good over here. And I can, you know, hide from the Sentinels for a minute. Oh, look at a traveler? Are you kidding me? A traveler's in a trading post? Oh, look at this thing. Okay, let's see what this is. What is this? This is my 24, oh, 23 slot. Oh, not as good. Sorry. I need 24 slots. All right. So let's talk to the technology merchant. I can't understand you. I don't know any geck words yet. Let's do purchase components. And I can get a hermetic seal. Oh, oxygen filter, salt refractor, sodium diode. I know I need that. 
Oh, drop pod coordinates? Holy cow. Yeah, I might, I might actually get two of those just because I want to upgrade my, uh, my, my suit. So, two of those. I have, I already have that. I need one more cobalt mirror just in case. And I don't think I need a salt refractor. Let me see. Let me move this out of the way. Because I want to try to put my shield lattice there. Oh, I need antimatter. So let's do that real fast. Perfect. Now I can put my... Now I'm putting my shield lattice there be, next to my hazard protection because it's an upgrade for your hazard protection. And you want to put them all close together because they will give each other a boost if they're touching. So boom. I should have moved my oxygen over to the side. Man, I'm... When I redo my uh, hazard protection stuff, when I max out my general slots, I will be moving my oxygen. Because I don't know why the oxygen um, upgrade doesn't boost with the rest of the technology for your hazard protection. But I guess, you know, maybe they'll fix that in a future update. All right. I need my cobalt mirror for... Could have sworn it was for one of these. Maybe not. Maybe I already made it. Dang it. Pulse spitter. Oh, I need more deuterium. For that. Yeah, okay. I got the cobalt beer for a mirror for no reason. Dang it. I thought I needed it. Maybe for my... Um, oh, I, I need it for there. There you go. My bleed of armor. Actually, let's put it in here. Move you down. So we're gonna put it right there, next to my other shield. There you go. See, he has a yellow outline on it. Good to go. Anything else I can make? Eh, good to go for now. Do I need anything for this stuff? I need salt refractor for my rocket boots. Efficient water jets. I need a living pearl. I don't have any of that. So, uh, I mean, I don't take rocket boots very much. I don't use them, I should say, very much. So, eh, screw it. We don't need them. Man, this is a really good planet, though. I'll tell you that. Because it's only, what, 56 degrees? It's not that hot. It just doesn't have any water. Oh, aggressive sandals. I for totally forgot about those. Totally forgot about those. Sorry, guys. Ooh, God. <laughs> and actually, let's go back home because we have a Gravitino ball. I can't believe I just jumped to a uh, system I've already been in. I could have sworn I hadn't. Because usually if you've been to a system, you see how these um, systems have different, like a, a, a circle around them. That means I've been to them. Like, this one does not have a circle around it, so I haven't been to it, as far as I know. But for whatever reason, I just screwed myself. I wish I would have gotten that. Oh, well. You know what? It still worked out. So let's go back to our base and our farmer. Or the uh, base overseer. Okay, they don't look like they are grown yet, but maybe. Dang it. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes, and so... Let's give it a second. For everything to kind of load in and catch up. I don't think they're done it. Dang it! Okay, so it takes longer than 20 minutes for all this stuff to come. Oh, that's okay. We have the we have the uh, gravitino ball. Whoop! Oh, wrong button. Holy cow! <laughs> Did you enjoy your adventure, friend? Your expedition to find our orb. I have waited for you faithfully. All right, calm down, overseer. There is something about the way the merchant Adex speaks that, for all their kind words, suggests a resentment saved only for the deepest of enemies. But they would not have come to work here if they if we were enemies. Of course not. We are friends. The Overseer asked for the Gravitino Ball so they can finish the Starship technology design. Alright, let's do it. 
As ever, I'm grateful for your assistance, friend. Did you enjoy your adventure? Orb? I okay, I did. Let's decline. I just gave you one. I gave him one. Okay. Return to the overseer. Since the overseer arrived, I have a, had a recurring dream. A, ni a nightmare that feels like a memory. Flesh merged with metal. A world of glass that blinks. Planet with green skies and obsidian moon. A dream where my grave... As I snap back to reality, there's a moment before I can shake the image. That, w that wound on the world lingering before my eyes. Overseer asked me to harvest Mordite, a material found in the bodies of slain creatures. All right, let's find some Mordite for him. Okay, yeah, and it feels like there is a, some kind of a glitch. The same thing happened for the armor when I when I tried to get him the uh, Viking daggers. It feels like if you have more than you need and you talk to them, they will keep taking them and giving you stuff, which is awesome, except for I don't want to. I want to continue my... My mission questing, you know, my quest line. So, it looks like if you back out, you should be okay. Oh, come on. My plants need to grow. I need more selenium. Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to call it there. Hopefully you guys liked this episode. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see me get the selenium and keep continuing the farmer's uh, quest line, then hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when the next episode comes out. And until then, see you later.